Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell, and today I had the honor of being on Dan Ball's show, Real America, on One America News. And uh, we were talking about the new Epic Times documentary, January 6th, The Real Story, The Long Road Home, in which my uh, video of federal agents attacking the Columbus doors and breaking windows, pushing people inside the Capitol, is prominently featured. They're going to be having a private screening for members of Congress in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. They have generously paid for my plane ticket, but as far as everything else goes, I am on my own. So I need your help in order to uh, you know, get done what needs to get done. This is going to be the culmination of three hard years of work for all of us. And I don't mind walking point, but I need you guys to have my six. I need you to go to givesendgo.com slash Bobby Powell and drop me a couple of bucks, 5, 10, 20, whatever. Anybody that donates 500 or above is going to get some uh, souvenir glass from the Capitol and a signed magazine from Epic Times, uh, their print magazine Insight, which I happen to have a few copies of. So uh, don't forget, givesendgo.com slash Bobby Powell. Throw me a few dollars and we will get these traders put in their place. Finally going to give these lawmakers a swift kick in the ass. That's what I'm going to do. So, you know, a lot of prayers are being answered and uh, my prayer tonight is that you will uh, search your soul and search your wallet and <laughs> see what you can do. Now onto that interview with Dan Ball. I will see you uh, on Wednesday and tell you exactly what happened during this uh, private screening of Epic Times' new documentary, The Real Story of January 6, Part 2, The Long Road Home. Here's Dan Ball. Our next guest maybe can help you. He's featured in this new documentary by the Epic Times, Part 2, The Long Road Home. His name's Bobby Powell. He was on the hill that day with his camera rolling. He joins us now once again to sound off about what he witnessed and to help expose the truth that is being distorted for political gain about January 6th. Bobby, welcome back to Real America. How are you, sir? I'm fine, Dan. Thank you for having me on. How are you doing, brother? Uh, well, you know, I get more fired up when we get around this date over the last three years because the rhetoric and the lies and the BS continue to be spewed from this commander-in-chief, which I don't even call him that, Joe Biden, down to your local media organization. And everybody in between just keeps spewing these lies that it was all a bunch of Trump MAGA supporters that went there hell-bent on an insurrection with a plot to overthrow the government that day to change the outcome of elections. That's what they say happened. You were there. What do you think and what do you know from your actual two eyes and your brain? What did you see go down that day, Bobby? Well, what I know from my own two eyes and what I actually recorded on video were federal assets attacking the Capitol. Now, how do I know that they're federal assets? Well, I volunteered to come in and give the FBI my video and an interview seven times since January 6th. Uh, I wrote complaints to the FBI's Office of Professional Responsibility twice over the last three years. Same with the Department of Justice Inspector General. Nobody wants to uh, touch this footage because it's radioactive. It absolutely shows people that the FBI has never identified, never even tried to identify by uploading their photos to the uh, FBI's database so the American people could find them. Yeah, and this you part of the there, video the... coming up here in a second, Bobby, this is your video playing on the other side of the screen. I want folks to pay close attention because the video you're about to see here in just a second where the guy is starting to rip the window out, that guy right there, that video has gone viral. We've all now seen it for three years. This is Bobby's video, folks. Now, look, that guy with the flag and Bobby's on the, it's Bobby's voice. And that, now, why is that guy doing that? You tell him verbally, don't do that. The guy with the flag tells him to don't do that. Then he gets in the guy's face with the flag and acts like he's going to punch him. So what was the masked bandit who you say have never been arrested? What was he doing trying to yank that window out and then getting into a fight with the guy with the flag? Well, it, it's obvious to me by now, after everything that I've seen and heard, that uh, you know he didn't realize at this moment right here that my camera was rolling on him. Not until I run in and get in between Antifa protester Gavin Kroll right there that the man in black pushes 
and tell him, do not go in there. That's when he changes his tune and starts defending the window that the Capitol Police had left unguarded just 90 seconds before. Right. So everybody understands that. That guy is ripping the window out when he realizes Bobby's caught him on camera and other protesters are saying, don't do that. He tries to act like one of them, yelling at the guy with the flag saying, don't go in there. When it was, in fact, the guy with the flag and yourself telling him to stop it because he was trying to rip it open more so there'd be an opening to push people through because he was encouraging people to go in prior to you recording him. Well, actually, uh, Gavin Kroll was part of the uh, crowd that was destroying barriers at the base of the East Steps. I came across that video when I was testifying in U.S. v. Barron in Washington, D.C. last August. So he he's Antifa. He's not a... Uh, mega protester. He ah. was not. He was not. Uh, the only reason he stopped saying no, I'm not going to go in there, is because I told him, you know, don't go in there, because I was going to. I was going to lay hands on him if he tried. And you and know, you don't for want a, a fact, Marine to lay some hands of the on people you. that you pointed out in your videos, you looked up their backgrounds and found them online, and they were in fact members of BLM or Antifa. Yes. Uh huh. But they've told us it was all mega people, Bobby. It was all Trump supporters well, that day. Wait a minute now. They lied. They, are you serious? The whole government's lying to us? I can't believe that, Bobby. Major portions of it are, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that there are still a few good men and women in there, but I haven't met them yet over the last three years. I'm here to tell you that. Yeah. The documentary um, that you're a part of, I understand you're going to be going to D.C. tomorrow, and the folks from Epic Times and uh, along with you and some other people featured in the documentary are going to be presenting this to some members of Congress. They actually want to see this, right, for themselves. Yeah, finally, after I've spent the last three years sending them uh, thumb drives by registered letters and actually placing the uh, information into their hands at events like CPAC and Rock the Red in Ocala, you know, I've, I've been trying desperately to get this video to everybody with a pulse for the last three years and it's finally breaking it out and i can't tell you how glad i am because january 6 prisoners are being tortured they're being physically and medically abused and psychologically tortured to the point of suicide and it's unacceptable yes it we, is. it's time it's time for our elected representatives to step up and do the right thing and, you know, say a damn word in favor of the January 6th political prisoners. Thank you. Bobby Powell, publisher, The Truth is Viral. Uh, check out the video. He's also got a substack out there as well, Bobby Powell. It's uh, a W and two L's, substack.com. Bobby, stay in touch with me. Let me know how those members uh, receive the new documentary and which ones actually showed up. I'd be interested to find out. I'm pretty sure it's only going to be Republicans and it's probably only going to be Freedom Caucus and America First folks. But it'd be nice if we could get a couple Democrats and a couple little rhinos to actually watch it with their two eyes so they'd see some damn truth. Bobby, thank you for all you do. Keep spreading truth. Yes, sir. Thank yep. you Take after care. having me on. And I don't want no one to cry, but tell them if I don't serve. Now, I stand here today telling you God's truth, speaking in the name of and with the authority of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because I am telling you the truth. It was the FBI and not Trump supporters who led the insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th. 